Rightly or wrongly, every time I get a new gun to try, I sort of prejudge it. Not fully, just a first impressions kind of thing. The Edgun Leshy was just one of those guns, and after using it, I was amazed and totally hooked. This 850 Air Magnum was another such gun where I was thinking, what's the point of a CO2 rifle for bottom end PCP price? Well, for your £350 UK, you get a lot more than I bargained for. The following program contains no firearms, no scenes of hunting, no violence and no cruelty to animals. All guns shown are compressed air in spring, CO2 or pre-charge forms. The program is aimed at being informative, entertaining and above all promoting safety. It is only made possible by the help from the following people who make up the production team and who give up their time and expertise free of charge. Hello and welcome to AAR On Air. Today I will be taking a look at the Umarex Hammerei 850 Air Magnum, which is pretty much an everything in a box rifle from the guys at Umarex. I've done quite a few budget rifle reviews recently and whilst it's always interesting what the big companies are doing and what new guns they are producing, there is just as much, if not more, happening at the budget end of the market and some very pleasant surprises. At this point, I normally start with the walk around. Well, today is going to be no exception, but be warned, there is quite a lot to cover and it's all pretty interesting stuff too. The main body or stock is made of hard, and durable plastic. Not so much the soft touch type, more your try knocking it about if you like sort of plastic. It is stippled at the front and at the grip to help maintain a sure hold of it out in the field. The trigger guard is also plastic and incorporated in the stock protecting the plastic trigger which is a two-stage item and has a pull weight of about two and a half to three pounds out of the box. The front of the stock is also removable and it houses an 88 gram CO2 cartridge. Now during the test I'll be using the Walther adapter which should add a little bit more flexibility to the proceedings. Of course, I don't expect to get close to the maximum 400 shots claimed with an 88 gram cartridge or capsule. On the underside of the CO2 cover is a rather useful rail. And even more useful is the bipod which is supplied within the box, which incidentally has more rails on either side to add even more toys if you require. It's a nice idea. The barrel is rifled and steel and fitted with fibre optic sights on the front and the rear, with the rears being adjustable for elevation and the front being adjustable for windage. But they become pretty much redundant due to the pre-fitted and supplied rather nice 6 to 42 scope, which is bright and also focusable. The magazine is beautifully simple, and I found it resembles the FX Wildcat magazine, with little to go wrong and fast and simple to load. The magazine is locked into place with a side lever and indexing and loading is taken care of with a simple bolt action on the right side. This action also puts the gun automatically into safe mode and is released via the thumb at the back. So loading the magazine, pin back 
slot in from the side, slide pin forward, bolt. You're ready to go and pre safetyed The whole process really is nice, simple and bulletproof, if you'll pardon the pun. The gun also comes supplied with a silencer and is more than adequate, which was another surprise to me, how quiet this makes the gun overall. Simply pop onto the end and tighten with the supplied grub screws. It does add to the overall length, but it does make quite a difference to the bark. So we've established you get a whole host of kit supplied with a gun, but is it any good? First up then, the power. How did it fare on the chrono test? This was the part I was concerned about with it being a CO2 powered gun. Now in the interests of wastage, as I've already said, I used the Walther 88 gram adapter using two 12 gram CO2s and at first it was hitting five foot pounds. Naturally I was concerned. Just 516 feet per second using 8.44 grain JSBs. But in the interest of giving it a fair chance and being thorough, two new CO2s were then loaded up into the adapter and that did the trick. 742 feet per second giving 10.32 foot pounds or 14 joules. Now that's better and giving enough power to do some damage to the small quarry population out there. Accuracy then. Because there's no spring it was pretty darn accurate over a 40 meter distance, certainly when I was shooting it, which was on a pretty calm summer's day. The scope Whilst is nothing over fancy, it does have that focus ring and is a usable six times magnification. So I was really pleased with the results. Conclusion. Well, this gun does fit perfectly between a brake barrel and a PCP. It doesn't demand the purchase of a pump or air tank, yet it is about the same price as some brake barrels, certainly by the time you've spec them up to this level of equipment. You have, however, got the more expensive 88 grand cartridges to buy, but you could opt for that Walther adapter if you preferred. And of course, then you've got the option to use the 12 gram cheaper canisters. It is a very capable rifle and feels value for money. I realise this is not engineered the same as that Edgun Leshy I mentioned, but it has still been a very pleasant surprise and for the money you're getting a lot of usable, effective gun. <laughs>